South India's number one travel brand. You know you are special when you're with JT Holidays. No mess, no fuss. Vidyan Vogue for the joy of cooking. Supreme Mobile Sin Deepavali Mega Se. Paniran Kodi, yeah, I'm with Rachel Rubai. Paris and Murray. Hello and welcome to Galata Plus. In this video review episode, we are going to be talking about Rohit Chetty Singham again. This is a retelling of the Ramayana as a generically watchable action movie. For a while, the star appearances and the action scenes keep things afloat. But after a point, the parallels between this story and the Ramayana become too much. The film begins to take itself too seriously and stops being fun. The rest of this review may have spoilers, so watch it your own discretion. There have been many adaptations of the Ramayana in Hindi cinema. One category of films deal directly with the epic like the recent Adi Purush. The other category of films is more interesting and it deals with stories based on the epic. In the 1980s, we had the Manoj Kumar star Kalyug or Ramayan where a modern day avatar of Hanuman solves the problems in the family of a man named Dashrath. In the 1990s, we had Suraj Bajatya's Ham Saath Saath Hain in which an insecure stepmother caused the eldest son of an industrial family to be banished so that her own son could become CEO. In the 2000s, we had Rakesh Om Prakash Mehra's Dilli 6, where events in the protagonist's lives are paralleled with events from a neighborhood staging of Ram Leela. In the 2010s, we got Maniratnam's Ravan, a psychological drama that played with the perspective of hero and villain. And now, in Singham again, we have Rohit Shetty setting a scop universe against the backdrop of the Ramayana. Like in Delhi 6, the events from a Ram Leela production are paralleled with the beats of this story. The wife is kidnapped by the equivalent of an asura and the husband puts together an army to get her back. So when the abduction happens, we see the event cut with the kidnapping of Sita on the Ramlila stage and so forth. Given that the epic is such a sturdy story, whether you think it is history or mythology, Singham again has to count as one of Rohit Shetty's cleanest, most coherent screenplays. There is not a wasted moment and the energy levels are super high all the way through. In the mindless time pass subgenre of films, this is certainly a watchable entry, especially with a parade of stars, Ajay Devgan, Karina Kapoor Khan, Deepika Padukona, wisecracking Ranveer Singh, Tiger Shroff, Akshay Kumar, Jackie Shroff. In the midst of this mayhem, Deepika actually squeezes in a few seconds of pretty fine acting when facing a woman who's lost a husband. Given the entertain at all cost agenda, I didn't particularly mind that the screenplay does not follow up on interesting tangents like when the Ravana equivalent accuses Rama of Imandari ka ghamand. There is a case to be made that Rama was so righteous that this trait almost became a badge he wore with pride. But then this is not the kind of movie that's going to go there. One of the earliest scenes depicts Kashmiri youths as Indian patriots and the lines uttered by one of them after a Muslim leader is apprehended is loaded with interpretative possibilities for a political analyst. The young man tells Singham, that is the Rama character, पत्थर मारना ओल्ड फैशन है ये नए भारत का नया कश्मीर है हम सब आपके साथ हैं एड टू दिस द नॉन स्टॉप श्लोका लाइक रेसिटेशन द बैकग्राउंड स्कोर एंड द माइल हाई इमेजेस ऑफ गॉड्स एंड वी नो थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू बी पेंटेड इन ब्रॉड नेशनलिस्टिक स्ट्रोक्स नो दैट इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम दैट इज अ प्रोरोगेटिव नो वन गोज टू मूवी लाइक सिंगम अगेन एक्सपेक्टिंग सटलिटी एंड डिस्पाइट दिस देर आर इंटरेस्टिंग टचेस इन द वे दिस फिल्म यूजेस लैंग्वेज ऑन द वन हैंड वी गेट डायलॉग्स फ्रॉम द मसाला इरा व्हेन सिंगम इज आस्क्ड व्हाई ही बिकेम अ कॉप he says sitare aasman mein acche lagte hain ya phir sheron ke kandhe par is referring to the stars here on his stripes on the other hand we also get a young modern india where youngsters educate their fathers about what a situation ship is karina plays a member of the culture ministry and the grand ramlila is her idea but she comes across as a modern woman who genuinely believes that the ramayana is history and not fiction like her bratty son claims for a while this old new flavor works well and the star appearances and the action scenes keep things afloat but after a point the structure the parallels between this story and the ramayana become too much. The film begins to take itself too seriously and stops being fun. There are some gags from the Ranveer character, sure, but the overall sense we get is that we are in a serious epic mode adventure rather than in a casually entertaining masala movie. And that becomes a bit of a headache, especially post-interval. Also, almost all the high moments, the key characters and the entry scenes were all given away in the trailer. So that's a bummer too. But yeah, Singham again is watchable in a very generic way. And the end credits promise a new entrant to the cop universe from one of my favorite Hindi masala movies of this millennium. If this film makes a ton of money and the next one gets made, I'd be interested in watching what they do with that character. 
And that's it about Singham again. If you like this video review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. South India's number one travel brand. You know you are special when you are with JT Holidays. No mess, no fuss. Video Vogue for the joy of cooking. Supreme Mobile's Deepavali Mega Sale. Paneer and Kudiyai, I'm with the Lakshmi Rubai. Paris, Madurai.